My degree from OU helped because um, when I started in construction, I started basically from nothing. I don't have a construction family background. I didn't really even know um, a whole lot about construction when I started. And so my education gave me that foundation. So when I walked out on a job site, I knew what I was looking at. I knew who was in charge. I knew um, what schedules were and how to do pay apps. And um, it really gave me that foundation to build off of um, when I was out on a job site or when I was in the working environment. I was hired as a project engineer um, when I graduated and that is kind of a dual role. So you spend half your time in the office and half your time um, out on a job site. Every day is different. Um, I get there at work in the morning and it's emails and phone calls and it's subcontractors having questions and the drawings um, have, have issues or aren't matching with what's in the field. My subcontractor and I go on a walk um, at least once every day, many times usually during the day. And we just walk around and um, talk to the subcontractors, see what's going on, see what they have problems with, see what, they're, what progress they're making, um, how we can make their lives easier, all of that. So it's a, lot of, um, it's a lot of being outside, it's a lot of being in the field, which is what I enjoy the most. I enjoy the action. It's a really fun um, environment being on a construction job site. Like I said earlier, you know, um, there's no two days it's ever the same. And so you can walk outside and it kind of gives me a sense of an adrenaline rush a little bit to be outside and to walk around and say, you know, oh, um, that wall's going up. I need to make sure we have submittals for this, this, and that. You know, where's that material? Have I ordered it? Where's it on the truck? Do I have confirmations for it? What's my superintendent gonna need tomorrow? Um, and really being able to be kind of on point with those things and um, be involved and be engaged. There's a real sense of um, action that I don't think you get sitting in an office all day. The skills that I find help me the most in this job um, is being able to communicate well and then being well organized. Um, being able to get your point across and being able to understand what the other person is saying is invaluable. Um, if you don't know what the other person is asking you, you can't help them. Um, and so really being able to communicate well both verbally and in written communication um, is probably the biggest thing that you, you can do. Um, organization is the other thing because as a project engineer or a new hire, um, you're kind of the low person on the totem pole, so a lot of things go through you, and so people will expect you to have the answers, even if you may not. Um, they'll expect you to be able to find the answer, usually quickly and efficiently. I would say if you're interested in construction, spend as much time on a construction job site as you can. Get a summer job as a laborer, just so you're exposed to it, so that you're comfortable around it, so that you know what's going on, what things look like, what the processes are, because a, a book education will only get you so far, especially in construction. It's not, you can't learn it 100% in a classroom, um, although it will give you a good foundation. And then when you're in college and when you're, you, you have those opportunities, network as much as you can. Be involved, be that person who um, goes to the company lunches when you don't know anybody. And, and get your name out there as much as possible because um, companies are always looking for people, students especially, to be involved. Um, it shows great initiative on your part and they're gonna remember you when a job comes up.